Hey guys, I'm Zoo Kid here, just walking home from school. It's a beautiful day out here in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, you know, it's cold in other parts of the country. Here right now it's like 73 degrees. It's perfect. I love this weather. But uh, anyway, we're not here to talk about weather. We're here to talk football, of course. Uh, first off, I don't have a lot of hate for Florida. I mean, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of their teams. I was never a Tebow fan. Uh, Urban Meyer, I think, is one of the biggest scumbags in coaching. The way he handles players and that kind of stuff. But... Uh, I've never really hated Florida. I mean, we've played them three times in the history of our athletics. In the last two years, when you think hate would come around, it's when, when, you know, they were really good two years ago and we were really bad. We lost 14 to seven, and last year we were pretty good and they were really bad and we won 36-17. Uh, Florida fans may hate us right now because of the Gator Chomp we did at the, uh, to We Will Rock You, but I mean, I don't, it doesn't really matter, it's over. But I'm really interested to see what this team, how this team responds. Uh, you go to a tough environment, uh, the swamp, you know, at night, 6:30 game, and a game that I mean, I've seen a lot of articles calling this one of the biggest games of Muschamp's career. Muschamp loses this game, no way he's coming back. I've read that I think three separate articles on three separate websites. I know Bleach Report was one the, the one that I thought did a good job with it. Um, you know, Florida's not a good team this year. I mean, they're okay. They're not They're not great. They're not going to go to the playoff, of course. They're not going to go to one of those selection bowls. But they'll probably make a bowl. I mean, they only got to win a couple more games. Um, but you never know. I mean, the Idaho game may come to buy them back in the ball. Who knows? But anyway, so we head there. And I'm really looking forward to see how this team responds after the ass-kicking they got last week. And, you know, there was no other word for it. There was It was an ass-kicking. Um... Georgia took us out behind the woodshed and was like, uh, it was horrible. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm interested to see how this response. Uh, I, you know, there are all the flaws out there, especially with the offensive line. And what you really, what I really saw is I went to Rock M Nation, which is the Mizzou blog. Uh, you know, there are a lot of great blogs out there for every SEC team. I, you know, I take a look at all of them. Rock M Nation is the Mizzou one, like I said. And they went play by play uh, through each uh, for the first three quarters of the game. You know, when the game was still not, it wasn't in doubt, but it, you know what I'm trying to say. But uh, the, what, what I saw on the film, the, Georgia didn't blitz. It looked like it, but they didn't blitz. Um, what they did is they stunted. They kept Malk in the pocket, and Malk would bail the pocket, which you know he does. And so. Uh, you gotta see where you go from there. Uh, Florida, offensively, they're as close to about as inept as Mizzou has been in SEC play. Um, you know, Treyon Harris is back. Okay. Jeff Driscoll's back. Uh, gonna start this week, apparently. That's a name that doesn't scare me. Um, Georgia running game. I mean, last year we saw glimpses of Kelvin Taylor. He had a pretty good game against us. I think it was had like 16 carries for 95 yards. But, you know, Matt Jones is a big power guy, but he's not nearly as good as I think Nick Chubb is, or Nick Chubb will be. So, there's that. Um, wide receivers. Marcus Robinson is pretty damn good. Uh, he's had a good year, especially against Kentucky. I think he had over 200 yards receiving, which, you know, is weird. It's scary to think about, but. Our corners haven't done a horrible job covering people. Safety is not so great, but corners haven't done a horrible job this year when they're playing press coverage and not seven yards off the ball and letting Hudson Mason just pick them apart. <sighs> Defensively, Florida, again, not as good as they were last year early on in the year, but they're still solid. Dante Fowler, still one of the best players in the country. Uh, Vernon Hargreaves, I haven't heard anything about him. I didn't, I didn't think he was playing this week, but we'll see. If so, that opens up more opportunities for Bud Sasser, uh, who Georgia completely shut down last week. It amazed me. Uh, Jimmy Hunt, and uh, hopefully we'll get back Darius White and he'll have a few opportunities. If not, we caught glimpses of what Jamon Moore can do. I mean, he had two catches for 33 yards, which is exciting because I think he was the only receiver that actually had a decent game as far as getting off, uh, getting off the uh, coverage. Georgia was playing. 
But it's interesting. I mean, Mizzou has to win this game to get back some respectability after last week's just just utter domination as far as the offensive side of the ball. Defense, like I said last week, they didn't play horrible. Uh, but when you're out there for 43 minutes, you're going to give up your share of points. And Georgia's warmed down. Uh, you know, I mean, it was just one of those standards. Three-yard run, three-yard run, six-yard pass, three-yard run, three-yard run, six-yard pass, three-yard run. It just seemed like that all game. But if we can get back on track, win this week, we'll be 5-2. and two. Vanderbilt coming into town. You'd think, you know, we could be Vanderbilt, get the bowl eligibility, and an interesting game with Kentucky. So there's still a lot to play for this season. Uh, I doubt an SEC East is up in the air right now just because of the way George is playing. I mean, I don't know if George is good enough to beat Auburn. I don't. I'm not going to be some guy. And I do apologize to Georgia fans for, you know, just outright claiming that they'll just lose in the SEC championship. Um, I, I, I don't know. I shouldn't say things like that on here. I'm, I apologize. Um, I mean, you guys killed us last week, so I have no room to be like, oh, well, you'll lose this game. I have no room. But, I mean, I don't know if George is going to beat Auburn or win the SEC championship, but I think they're going to have that opportunity to prove it, prove me wrong. But, uh, you know, that's that's how shitty last week's game is. I'm still talking about Georgia and just how well they played uh, on the defensive side of the football and the offense was effective. Florida, um, I think we beat, beat Florida. I think Florida's just so bad offensively. I think our defense forces a couple turnovers finally. You know, after a 47-game turnover streak, we've gone three without. So, any coincidence that we lost two of the three, which is two of them that we lost were at home. So that's kind of weird. But I think Florida Mizzou wins. Offense gains some of their footing back. I'm gonna say 27-17. I, mean, I, I think Florida's defense is good enough to slow us down, but I do think we'll get some turnovers, create some short fields. Uh, the running game will start picking it back up. And I think we'll be able to uh, get some points on them. Maybe a, maybe a special teams return with Marcus Murphy. That'd be really nice to see. Um, so that's what I'm going to stick with. 27-17 Mizzou. Um, I'm sorry. This really isn't hate week. I had ideas for Georgia. The one I didn't get out. And then I had some. I, I thought I had some ideas for Florida. But so much has gone on this last week. Oh, I love this truck pass. So much has gone on with me this last week. And just... I wasn't able to really have time to make a video. Um, good luck to the rest of you guys this week. Um, you know, I got really got nothing to say. I'm just going to start rambling. So, M-I-Z-Z-O-U. Go Tigers.